when thoughts attack. Thoughts attack. Now that's an interesting topic. And by thoughts, I'm meaning we're talking about depression, sadness, anger. Uh, it could be lustful thoughts. It could be depression. It could be jealousy. All these different thoughts. Um, experts say we have about 50 to 60,000 thoughts per day. And as believers, we're not immune to that. We have those same thoughts. Just because we're in this truth doesn't mean that we're not, these same thoughts are not going to attack us. So what I want to do is, is address that and give you guys a, a plan to how to handle those thoughts, those negative thoughts when they attack. So where do these uh, bad thoughts come from? Where do these negative thoughts come from? And what a lot of people are dealing with is um, the things that they're consuming. A lot of times we think that the food we eat is, is, is our diet, that's our only diet, but it has more to do than what the food we eat. It's actually the things that we let inside of our, our mind and the, what we see, what we consume with, through visually. So we have to take heed to the things that we're letting inside of our bodies. Not only um, physically, but mentally, spiritually. And here's a couple of things that um, you have to be wary of. The television shows that you're watching, the media. You know, the world tells us that the music we listen to, the movies we watch, the TV shows that we, we consume, these things don't have an effect on us. They're only art. It, it shouldn't have an effect on us. That's what society tells us. But as we know, they're wrong. I can give uh, an example. I used to watch these crime television shows. I'll give you a better example. When Before I came into this truth years ago, I was listening to, I used to listen to rap, rap music, hardcore rap music. Now, did I go out and commit any crimes? No. But did these things cross my mind the things that they were talking about in the videos absolutely um it affected me um it affected my way how i saw people how i looked at people um so that played a big effect on me so the music does influence you also the example about television um when i watch these crime shows my daughter would sit there and watch it with me and um it, it doesn't do anything to me, but she she couldn't go to sleep at night because she's scared because she's thinking a boogeyman is coming to get her. So that's the effect that it has on us. Think that someone's staring out our window because of all of these crime stories, all of these crime shows. So entertainment, the media it does have an effect on you. So that's one thing. Don't fall for the idea that um, the things I watch won't have an effect on me. It absolutely does. Secondly, this device, if not used properly, it's the work of the devil. What do I mean by that? This device can send you down all kind of bad paths, can have all kind of thoughts pop into your head that you're not even thinking of. You can be scrolling your Facebook feed, um, scrolling Instagram, it's whatever your social media platform that you're scrolling. And you can just see something that, let's say a friend who's on vacation or something, and that can affect you. That can make you feel jealous because you know that um, the money that they use to pay for that vacation, um, they're getting in debt to do these things. And you know that they're not even supposed to be on vacation. <laughs> so that upsets you. Um, makes you envious, makes you jealous. You see a friend who just bought a brand new vehicle. Um, it's just whatever. Or they can just post some kind of drama on their wall and that can affect you. Next thing you know, you're inside of their drama. You're, you're inside of their lives and their situation that they're going through. So that's the second thing. Thirdly, sometimes we have to remove ourselves from the circle that we're in. And what I mean circle, it's your circle of friends. Because there's a saying that I like to say that a lamb will take on the, the ways of the lion. The lion won't take on the ways of the lamb. 
what I mean by that is if you're inside, if you're around negative people, nine times out of ten that their negativity is going to rub off on you. It's just bad. What they say, all in water doesn't mix. You drop a, a drop of oil in water, even though the water is pure, the, the oil is going to it's going to taint it. It's going to tarnish it. So you definitely have to remove yourself from these people. Um, it could be people on your job. It could be family members. It could be friends that they just always have a negative attitude, gossiping, just talking foolishness just for no reason. They're saying um, crazy jokes, dirty jokes, whatever. Um, you just have to remove yourself from that because the scripture tells us that um, bad company can corrupt good morals. So. You, the company you keep has an important role on the thoughts and the way you feel. So you definitely have to remove yourself from that circle. So we talked about three things that influences our thoughts. And that's the media, the music, television, TV shows, movies, the things that you're watching. Take heed to these things that you're watching. Number two, social media. Remove yourselves. Don't get involved in other people's feeds. Um, don't involve yourself in drama. Get away from that. Remove yourself. And thirdly, um, remove yourself from, from your circle. If you're in a negative circle, you remove yourself from those people. If there's a negative, you work with a negative co-worker, just avoid them as much as you can. Uh, or you can just flip the conversation. Um, bring spiritualness into the conversation. And the funny thing is that they'll stop once you bring biblical principles into it and, and speak God's word and his life into the conversation you'll be surprised how those people run away from it real quick or they'll change the conversation so what's the solutions the solutions to deal with these negative thoughts and when our thoughts attack is first guys we have to be aware of them. the scripture tells us uh, in 2nd Corinthians 10 and 5 that we did we destroy every argument and every loft and opinion raised against Yah and against the knowledge of Yah and we take every thought and bring it into captive and we bring it into obedience on the Yahushua so what does that mean the thought pops into your head um, watching something on television social media you have to process this thing it, will, will this thing go against Yah is this in alignment with Yah's word and if it's not we just have to immediately discard it that's what the scripture tells us Take heed to his word. Um, take heed to your thoughts and actions. If, if they don't align with Yah's word, get rid of it. It's just as simple as that. Secondly, to remove those, these negative thoughts, I mean to, to combat these when your thoughts attack, use, arm yourself with the word, arm yourself with the sword. The scripture tells us that um, Yah's word is the sword and that's how we combat the devil simple as that so if, say if a person is dealing with lust and you grab some scriptures dealing with lust that way when those thoughts pop into your head you have those scriptures ready to, to combat them and you'd be surprised how those thoughts will just disappear you can't just have a thought pop up into your head and just immediately act on it you kind of have to process and have filters in your mind that that will block that thought you don't just instantly react to the first thought that you have process it like the scripture says take heed to it um, hold it captive and align it with Yah's word. It's as simple as that. If you're dealing with envy, jealousy, or you have trust issues, there's many of scriptures in the Bible to deal with that. So again, grab you some scriptures out of the word and, and have those scriptures, use them as a sword to combat those negative thoughts that you have dealing with those topics. Yah's word is practical. We can utilize it in every part of our lives. That's what trips me out about people who say that, that Yah's word is not true and that the Bible, that's just a religious book, it has nothing to do with today's times. But God, I'm here to tell you, Yah's word is true. It applied then, it applies now. And finally, the last thing, and actually this should have been the first thing to combat these negative thoughts, is when you arise in the morning, start your day off with prayer. Start your day off with affirmations. Um, Worship music. Um, worship music is not only great to, to wake up with. I mean, to when you wake up and start your, your morning routine, having worship music playing throughout the house, just putting you in a in a spiritual mood and in, in the presence of Yah.
but also before you go to sleep at night if you're having problems with bad dreams or just negative thoughts negative energy before you go to sleep put on some spiritual music listen to the word read the word before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning just repeat that process start your day off right and that was it guys i hope this teaching was a blessing to you i hope you, you can apply some of the things we talked about and just let me know in the comments if this was helpful if you'd like to hear other things other topics you'd like me to discuss and uh that's how we combat the negative thoughts we definitely have to get in our word use his word as a sword start your day off with prayer start it off with affirmation um get in the word worship and finally you just have to be aware take heed to those thoughts take heed to the things that come into your mind filter it filter it with Yah's word and if it doesn't line up you must immediately discard it and it's as simple as that i hope that helps you guys out enjoy the rest of your day shalom